Yeah, we started The Grove ultimately because in 2014, in early 2014, I sensed the Lord saying that we needed to start a church. And it wasn't something that we had prepared for or purpose to do with our lives, um, something that really got interrupted our lives to do. And so when he called us, uh, it was a, a lot of wrestling. Melissa and I wrestled for months over that calling. And as we wrestled, it was a confirming time. It was challenging, but it was confirming that the Lord was going to do something new through us, something that we couldn't even see um, really in its entirety. And yet in November of 2014, uh, the Lord was good to us. We started the Grove in our living room and uh, it was two weeks that went by before we had to go over to Joy Lutheran Church and continue our core, our missional core gatherings there because the Lord was just showing His faithfulness that what He called us to do, He was gonna supply all that we needed in order to be able to do. And so, yeah, it's been a journey and it was a journey of really Lance just saying like, we need to reach the lost in our area. And I had just been so consumed with trying to just build up the church we were at and just Bible studies and I wasn't really honestly thinking too much about the lost and so um, he kind of said well, we should repent of this and I was like well you need to repent um, <laughs> but then I just thought yeah I, I, I really do because I don't I don't try to reach I don't try to live missionally and that was kind of what started to be the catalyst for change for how it would change my heart and what we wanted to do in Richmond so the answer to why we came to the Grove is actually kind of hard for us to answer because we're not really sure why. We went to this night of vision and we heard uh, what Lance had as this vision for what the Grove was going to be and it sounded hard, it sounded uncomfortable, it sounded like a lot of work and we did not want to do it, which is why we knew that the Lord was calling us to be obedient and to step out of our comfort zone and to join them. So we did and here we are. I decided to join the Grove Church because it was some place that I could be ministered to, um, some place that I really felt the Holy Spirit, somewhere where I could belong, uh, be loved on, and be a part of the community. Hi, my name is Nicole Wetzel, and I decided to join the Grove in the beginning because of the mission and vision that was being casted for our church. Um, it was very simple in the fact that we just wanted to reach people with the gospel through invitation. From sitting on the back porch with John Hilliard and Lance and Melissa eating a piece of pizza, talking about what we would love to see God do, He's doing those things. The Grove started, uh, we just kind of talk, sat down and talked about what do we want to see? What, do, what does it, a good church look like? Kind of think out of the box. What does missional mean? What does the gospel mean? What does community mean? And it just kind of seemed to come all together. This is what we kind of desire the church to be. And we kind of worked together to, to see that happen. Uh, it was amazing from the start. Just all these different random ideas that just kind of blossomed and grew into what the church is today. My name is Josue Sanchez, and one of the reasons I joined the Grove a few years ago is because uh, I was asked a very unique question I had a hard time answering, and that question was, when is the last time you shared the gospel with a non-believer? In the past year, in the past three years, and I had no answer to that question, and in that moment I realized that was not okay, that something I'd been doing was missing and that thing that was missing was one being a center around the gospel and then two truly having a love for the lost and so when i was uh, shown the vision that god had given for the grove to be a church that is a family of missionary servants that we are all disciples called to make disciples uh, i prayed about it and it was almost like a knee jerk that uh, that was a place i needed to call home uh, to ultimately be centered around the gospel, to reach the lost with that gospel. Oh man, what, has, uh, what have we seen the Lord do in the five years that we've started the church? Well, I would say first and foremost, uh, that God has made good on the promises to be faithful, on the promises to be present, and, um, and on the promises to form His people into the image of His Son. I mean, just I mean, just straight out. I've seen some very, very 
deep-rooted sin in some people mm -hmm. that has been been died to. I've I've watched that happen, and stuff that society treats as normal or people think it's part of their identity or they can't change or they've been trying to change for 10 or 20 years or longer. I've seen God just wreck those things and make their hearts tender again. And it's something that, you know, before five years ago, I probably really wouldn't believe really goes on. Over my, my entire spiritual walk, I've never seen so many women get so excited about what the Lord was doing um, and telling them through scripture. That's been really exciting. Yeah, I think over the last five years, one of the probably the most um, tangible expression of the gospel for us in our life and that we've seen us kind of blossom into as a church um, is in the, in the way of orphan care um, and, and adoption. I have seen several people come to Christ I have seen many people grow in their faith, including me, and I have seen a community come together like no other I have ever seen. So in the last five years, uh, I think it's been beautiful to see our neighborhood group, which just multiplied a couple weeks ago, um, and or we've multiplied before and seen other groups multiply. Uh, I think it's been beautiful to see God be faithful in us and through us in our neighborhoods um, as we've been on mission. So when we started this church, one of the fortifying verses for me and for us as leaders, for the missional core that started this church, and I pray for all of us today as we move forward into the future, was John 13, 34 and 35. That just as I have loved you, so you should love one another. The world will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. Man, if we could remember that again and again, that's where I want us to go in these next five years. Fortified in who we are in Christ, loving one another beyond our emotions, beyond what we feel like, beyond what we think we have capacity for. And, and that kind of love for one another, for the world around us would be so captivating that they would see Jesus in us and be like, man, I don't know what's going on, but I know that I wanna follow the God that you follow. Uh, that's our my hope for all of us, that we would be rooted and that we would reach those around us with the love of Christ. So what we hope to see in the next five years is more people, more disciples, more baptisms, more people coming to the Grove, more birthday parties and babies and anniversaries and weddings and lots of parties and just doing life together and having fun. And we can't wait to see who the God or who the Lord brings to us and what he does through that. So for me, it's very simple. It all sums up in one word, and that word is multiplication. My prayer, my hope is that we would multiply and uh, that we would multiply leaders, that we would multiply disciples, that we would multiply into new cities. And of course, a deep, deep longing of mine is that we would see Grove Sugarland come to fruition, as well as many other groves, smaller groves around the city um, be planted. Our hope is that the gospel would reach every part of our city and that happens with multiplication. So my hope is that we would see people step up and do radical things like sell their homes and move and join the teams that we'll be planting and get excited about mission and moving into a new city and bringing the gospel, the good news to different parts of the city that desperately need to hear those good news. So I'm excited just to see what God will do in that and through that for us and through us um, and all for his glory, of course. Something we're really excited to see in the next five years is somebody uh, from our church family going out to plant. My ultimate hope would to see a church plant in the next five years. To plant another church? I would love to see a church plant as well. And maybe even be a part of it. Yes. Um, I want to see us plant a church. Yeah, that's a really good goal. But most of all, I would like to see more churches planted like the Grove because it truly is a home. It's not just a church.